Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to learn how to use spacers in order to align your elements on your website. Sometimes you'll add an element to your website. Like in this example here we have the uh, the video that I embedded from a previous lesson, how to embed YouTube videos, and it's really aligned way over to the left, it's flush, and I kind of want it to line up with this text. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a spacer to perform that lining up. Okay, so we're going to go to our elements. Under the structure, we're going to add a spacer. So we're just going to drag this, and we're going to drag it right in there to where we want it to go. Okay, and what it's going to do is you're going to see that it's going to shift the video way over. Okay, now that's not really what we want either, but we can fix that. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go onto this line and you see you get the resizer, the grabber. So we're going to click and hold on that grabber and we are going to drag this over to resize the spacer until we are to the minimum size of the spacer. So that's about as, as far as we can go, okay? So if you wanted this video centered, we could, sort, we could center it using the spacer like so, okay? So it's not entirely precise. You can't get it to the millimeter, but you can drag it and resize it. So if you wanted it centered, you can do so. Okay, we could also do the same thing with any other element. If we had a graphic, for example, if we wanted to move this graphic over, we could do so. And we can even do it vertically. So if you wanted a little bit more space between this element, the text, and this element, the video, we could just go grab a spacer or a divider would do it as well. And you see when you hover the spacer, you get the line. That's going to show you where the space is going to be put, that blue line. So we're just going to release that. And you can see that some more space has been put in there. And again, using the grabber, we can increase that space if we so desire. So using spacers and dividers, you can really line up the structure of the website the way that you want to. Any questions you have, please comment on this video. Please subscribe. I'm happy to have your subscription. Happy to help you out wherever I can. This has been a video on how to use spacers to line up your elements on your Weebly website. Thanks very much, guys, and have a great day.